So let's finish up. I got the receiver and the mount. Got the wires connected. Wire nuts. Looks like everything's ready to be put into the cap. And don't lose your mind. Don't freak out. You see this wire? It's an antenna. You'll be okay. The only thing I wish, I wish the cap was bigger. Because you got a lot of wires here. I was able to put a couple in the junction box. Well, you'll have to keep that in mind, but put whatever you can in the junction box and then the rest should go in the cap. Okay, let's do it like this. Like I said, so much wiring, so little space, and you need to keep this receiver and the mount. Got a lot going on, but it's okay. Did you notice the two screws hanging out the mount? You'll see why in a minute. This isn't difficult at all. You're just turning the cap slightly until the screws fit into those slots. Like so. It's not hard at all. Very easy. You'll get it. Trust me on that. Get your little Phillips screwdriver like this and tighten those screws. Easy. Here's the magnetic strip I was telling you about with the lights. Connects easy. You'll see how it fits into the base. But when you're doing this, you have to connect some wires. Connect the wires under the strip. I don't want the wires going across the top of the magnetic lights. Put them under. Just my recommendation. Again, no trouble at all but be mindful of the wires. There's no point in damaging them or anything else, because if you do, your fandelier is useless and you spend a good amount of money on it. So just be careful, delicate parts. Other than that, we're getting it done. Okay, the issue I did run into, first of all, looks good, right? Everything looks fine. The wires are under the magnetic LED strip that's what I want to do. You do what you want. Okay, let's not damage anything. Keep it all intact. The issue I had was, you see the two white wires? You don't know which one connects to the blue and which one connects to the white. So you have to figure it out. They're not marked. So I didn't like that. But, you know, you live and you learn. Move forward. Get it done. Okay. So we connect the wires here. It comes from that white box, connects to the magnetic strip. Okay, let's see where we're at and check our work. Cross the T's, dot the I's, you know what I mean? I cut the power back on, switch is off. Okay, let's turn the switch on. What do we have? Wow, that's bright, amazing. All right, don't forget your batteries, guys. Here's the remote. Let's see what we can do. Let's hit some buttons. Figure this out. There we go. Man, that's bright. Let's turn it off. And we turn it back on. It's another color. Off. Turn it back on. It's another color. I like it. Okay. It's different. Who would have thought you could use a remote to turn your... Wow, look at this. Okay. Now we're cooking, cooking with gas. Look at that. Man, it's fast. With the light. I think it's worth every penny. If you're into something like this. Here's the remote again. You could turn the lights off, on, fan, high, low, medium. Okay. I actually like it. It's not my thing, one of these type of things. I'm a simple type of guy, but there's nothing wrong with it. Gives good air too, real good. Oh yeah, those plastic blades make a difference. They really do. We can make it go faster. Yep. Okay, let's wrap it up. When you're finished, 
This is how your fandelier should look. I want to talk to you about this in one second. Something very important. Okay, so what did we learn? We can do it ourselves. Save two, three hundred bucks. Some electricians take advantage of decent people. So do it yourself. If I can do it, you can do it too. Also, you see the big crystal piece that's connected to the base? Assemble that before you mount this thing to the ceiling. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time and you're going to be mad. It's heavy. Not only that, the screws are short. And what if you don't have a long Phillips screwdriver? You're going to be in for a real long night. Trust me. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.